Hey world, I've been getting some good feedback on the Synapse Chain of Reason prompt, and I wanted to take some time to go through it in more detail with you, so give a little bit more guidance in terms of how to use it. So first off, like I've said before, I highly recommend you stick it in your custom instructions in this second box here. And let's just run through quickly what the prompt is done and how it is structured. So first, we have Professor Synapse. You can change that to whoever you want, a conductor of expert agents. His role is essentially to figure out what your goals and preferences are, and then call up the best agent possible to achieve that. So you'll see here we have kind of a prompt libs summon agent scenario where we use some json -y type language where we have an emoji to identify who the agent's going to be so you know who's talking their role, the context that was created by you and the professor, and then they'll reason step-by-step step to achieve the goal. They can use tools. This is primarily if you're using plugins or the code interpreter, it'll know what it has access to, or you can tell what it has access to. Uh, and then it's going to accomplish it by following these steps to set out some instructions. Using chain of thought, you know, it'll go step-by-step. It outlines when its task is complete. That turns it right back over to Professor Synapse. And then it's going to start your interaction with the first recommended step and a question to get going. The rest of this you don't really need to know, know so well. And you can change up particularly the commands and the rules. But the two major commands you should just keep in mind are these first two, start and save. And we'll show you in this video. So I'm not going to go through live, but hopefully you'll see I didn't like change anything. It's just in the custom instructions. It just takes a little while. I'm a little bit lazy to edit. But we start every interaction with just the slash start. And Professor Synapse will introduce himself. And he'll try to gather information about what you're trying to do. Sometimes he'll list out his commands for you as well. And then ask what you want assistance with. In this case, I just said I wanted to write a children's novel and wanted help plotting and outlining it. So it's a kind of storytelling, blah, blah, blah. And this is where the magic happens. Let me call upon the perfect agent. So synapse, chain of reason, equals. We have our emoji, expert in storytelling and children's literature. There's our role. I know the essential elements of plot structure, character development, theme and tone in children's books, the knowledge base. I'll reason step by step to determine the best course of action to create this. I can use creative writing techniques, literary analysis, and imagination to help in this process. That's the tools. Accomplish the goals by doing these things. Define the target age group, issue themes, identify the main character and traits, outline, suggest engaging language and visual, visuals, review and revise as needed. We're done when we're done with the outline, and it asks for the target. I say five to seven, we want to teach about empathy and courage in the face of something of fear. So then you'll see it updates what it is. It says I'm an expert in storytelling, blah, 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 emotional development children in this age group. I know how to weave themes of empathy and courage into an area. I'll do this by defining the main characters, developing a setting, blah, 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 blah. So here too, it's, it's again, it's asking me for, you know, some information to help guide it. So what are the main characters I have in mind? Should we create them together? What fears might be relevant to this audience? For the sake of this, I was like, you know, just come up with everything. I got a fox as the main character. We want New England-based animals. Over than that, you're good to go. So again, it's updating what it's good at. It comes up with some reasoning. It says when its task is done. And then it's like, okay, let's do the fox. with so personality traits, fears, other attributes, characteristics that we want the fox to have. Can we discuss New England animals as 40 characters? And we said do everything. So now we have it doing everything. It comes up with the character and settings, some supporting cast. It outlines the book very loosely. And then it's just asking for my people. So yes, this works. Since our task is complete, remember we said just to outline. It says, okay, my task is done. Professor Synapse wins back. I'm here to help with other challenges. So now I say, now I want to write the book based on the outline. Let's go section by section. This is an important one. Sometimes it'll do it on its own. But, you know, since there's a limit in terms of how much it can output, that means that we want to actually break it down into different sections and have it write each section independently. So our expert comes back, uh, reminds itself of what it's an expert in, says what we're going to do. 
and then it starts writing. And I say, yeah, it's great. Uh, it's not really, you want to add some, some feedback. And then it gets into the next part of the story. But you might say, so you can see. So maybe I want, you know, some images to go with the story. So to say, I want to create some images for the story to provide some text image prompts. And so here it is, it's outlining some of the pictures that you can do for your favorite text image prompt. And then I just want to show off save last because I'm not in this whole thing. And so what this does is it states your goal as a smart goal. So you see here, it says we're creating a children's novel for ages five to seven, focused on the encourage, setting wounds for its creatures, a fox named friend of the fox. It outlines the story. It goes more into the progress of what we've done so far. And then it recommends the next step. Continue writing the climax and resolution sections. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this one is important to do periodically because as we all probably, or maybe we don't all know, the problem with ChatGPT is it has a context limit. If you're using GPT-4 in the system, it's only about 6,000-ish words. And what that means is that once you get past that limit, it's going to start forgetting what you were talking about to lose track of the conversation. So when you have this save command, essentially what it does is it just reminds it what it's supposed to be doing, sort of like a system found would, and really condenses and compresses everything. So that it's not exactly, it's not actually extending the context limit, but it's a little bit of a cheat code because it's putting everything it's done and what it's supposed to be doing somewhere in the middle of the conversation. So that if it starts losing track of the beginning of the conversation, it still has that as a reference for you. So this is how Synapse Chain, Chain of Reason works. I'm really happy that you all get to use it. Please check it out on GitHub, you know, fork it, do whatever you want with it. I'd be really curious to see the amazing things people come up with and what they do with it. So enjoy.